Yo guys, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it. Here we have Danny Alves, team of the year. First one we're doing, and it's a review, obviously. Check out the stats, eight games played, five goals, eight assists. And um, see, before we get into this, you can pause it to check the in-game stats, but what I'm gonna say is, if you are here to see just goals like other YouTubers do, like Kitani, like if he did this, he do a lot of goals and stuff. I tr I'm doing mine a bit differently. I do mind like his how he dribbles, how he passes, how he shoots, how he tackles, how he puts players under pressure. It's basically an in-depth review. That's what I do. I love doing keepers and all of them. So basically today will be Danny Alves and Manuel Neuer and Thiago Silva. And then tomorrow will be Ramos and Philip Lam. And then Andres Iniesta, Xavi and who's the other guy? Ribery. Anyways, this and then so on. So anyway, we're continuing on into this. A lot of these clips are things like that. There we go. Danny Alves with a lovely cross. And it's mostly about his assists and his passing in this because he's a right back. You're not going to really be scoring many goals with him, right? And that's why I don't understand some reviews like that. So anyways, as you can see, there's a lovely run from Alves. It's finishing. See, let's get one thing straight. I can put a lot of clips of Danny Alves scoring. I can just play 10 games and score amazing goals. But it's all about how he generally takes the shots and how well he is. Uh, uh, how well he puts them into the back of the net. Majority of the time, you see clips and reviews on YouTube. Look at that nice little goal. Generally, you think that, all right, this, this, this YouTuber is scoring so many amazing goals. And see, the YouTuber could be amazing, could be normal, could be, you know, it all depends on how you use him. But uh, realistically, inside the box, Danny Alves finishing is not the best, as you saw a few times already. And that clearly have not done anything wrong there. But um, his long shots and outside the box, he's brilliant. I'm not going to lie. His crossing is out of this world. Nothing like that. And his rainbow flicks, he's very skillful. Four-star skills. It's just brilliant. He's practically a winger, a right back, right wing back, and... He's just everything that you need. His Look at that for strength, though. Right there. That was a really good tussle. And he's just a great player. And for once, he's not... Sp team of the seasons, team of the years in forms. Usually, like last FIFA, some of them were a bit sluggish. But Danny Alves, once again, does not disappoint me. Because last FIFA, he was also brilliant. And once again, he is brilliant. Again, there he is. They're heading that on. Not the best of headers. Here he is now. Latching onto a through ball. Look at the little cross. Should have done better there, whoever that was, William. Danny Alves, most of the crosses that are in, well, all of them, if you see a cross like here, it's it's Danny Alves, in case you can't notice who's doing it. It was Danny Alves giving another cross to Diego Costa. And in this game, by the way, here, um, Danny Alves bags a hat-trick of assists. Here it is again. Danny Alves moving it into the box. Nice little cross and back. I'm telling you guys, you will not be disappointed. And he's cheap right now. I think he might go up at the end of, once they're out of packs, to maybe 1.1 again, 1.2. He's going for 700k or 750 I bought him for 1 million something because I had to get this review out there and boy it was a big mistake. But I'm still holding on to him. I will get my money back, that's for sure. There was a nice little cross hitting the crossbar from Danny Alves. Here's Danny Alves again. Rainbow flick. I love doing rainbow flicks with him. It's so smooth and solid. And that was a great save. If you have a look at that, it was a really good save. And here's Danny Alves again. What will he do? Taunting the defender. Turns around goes for the cross. When you think that he's wasted the corner, he puts that in. Nice, nice assist. He's an assist king. What a player. He's just like, look at that little turn. And I'm not going to lie. In this game, I put him as a winger and a striker. Because I wanted to test him. And he, you, you will see him in right back, right wing, right mid, and striker. Striker only because I needed to get a few goals. And I was I was under a I was under some pressure. And that was only one or two. Uh, I mean, that was only for one game. And um, he's, he's a good player. I'm not going to lie. He's a great player. Here he is with one rainbow flick, two rainbow flicks. Look, it's solid. He's very solid on the ball. If the main question is, Emperor, should I buy this player? If you have the money... Yeah, I mean, see, defenders actually make a difference in form just a little bit, but a team of the year, like you think, okay, should I get normal uh, Danny Alves? No way is the normal Danny Alves as good as this. This Danny Alves is out of this world. Look at the way he runs. Just pause the video on certain dribbling t um, parts where he's dribbling, passing, shooting. Just keep going back and looking at it. It'll really make you decide who you want to get. And if you're confused as to who's crossing it, who's shooting it, because, you know, sometimes you can't tell, that was a lovely pass from Alves. Um, you can just look in the bottom right and watch the names and stuff. Here he is with a penalty. I hope this review has been in-depth enough for you because I have shown you everything from penalties to free kicks to, to just a few goals, to assist, to passing, to running, to dribbling, to skills, everything. Tackling, putting under pressure. So I hope this really helps you decide. Like Some of you may dislike it because you're disappointed. Like you're thinking, why? Why aren't there any goals? But this is a defensive review. To, well, an offensive right back. You know, It's not about the goals. It's more or less about his assists. And I clearly provide enough assists for you. Eight assists, is it? So yeah, and um, one of the files got corrupted as well. There was a goal missing in this as well. So yeah, here's Danny Alves. Look, I'm telling you, I have not seen anyone catch up to this guy till now. I mean, I've come up against the likes of Kyle Walker, David Luiz, Ramirez. These guys are really fast in midfield to defense. He's just absolutely brilliant. 
Here he is again. Nice little skill, little swish there. Look at this nice little couple of Ronaldo chops and goes for the assist again. Very good player here. Really, guys, if you want to buy him, I suggest you should. I'm keeping him. He's even in a Premier League team. You can have him. Imagine 4 3 3 CDM Ramirez, center back David Luiz, and have him there. It is brilliant. And there he is finishing off the last clip of the day with a nice little goal when I played him in striker. Here we go. Check him out. Strength 8 out of 10. Uh, passing 10 out of 10 is passing. I'm not exaggerating. 6.5 finishing. Uh, long shots 8 out of 10. Free kicks 8. Tackling 6.5 out of 10. And uh, 6.5 because he's a bit short and he's very aggressive. His tackling, is out, his tackling isn't the best. But pressure on the player. Meaning when he's going one-on-one -on -one to barge him off the ball and stuff. He handles himself well. Pace 10 out of 10. Of course. Dribbling 9 out of 10. Overall 8 out of 10 of an average. Thank you very much for watching. Peace.